Can we go through here or we have to go there? Okay. <laughs> we'll see. All right, everyone, welcome back to Nobuna Miami. So today we're gonna go to a Japanese classic car show. Let me ask Armando. Let me ask Armando if he knows where we're going. Armando, where are we going? Uh, Japanese car show. He doesn't know, but yeah. He just shows up for uh, to take pictures, bad pictures, by the way. Uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah, we're gonna see some very nice cars that are already lining up. Um, a couple of NSXs, bugs, a little bit of everything. Um, should be a good time. The lines are already getting big too for entrance. Um, but yeah, we're looking forward to it. So I'm not gonna show every single car, I'm not gonna lie. Um, so don't take it personal if I didn't show your car. I'm definitely gonna show more cars that are, you know, to my liking. Uh, my personal liking, not necessarily they're bad looking. But um, yeah, it's a beautiful weather. Beautiful weather here in uh, Anaheim, which is not too far from my house. So definitely come out. Let's do it. Alrighty, so we made it. We're inside and uh, I can already see a lot of nice cars I really like. Oh, 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 oh. Yes, Gran Turismo vibes, PlayStation 1. I told you, you should have made it. Sick. What wheels are these? A 1552 Tarmac? Oh my god. This is absolutely gorgeous. Yep. Like I said, I'm not going to be showing all the cars, but the ones that I do show. Oh my god. This is what you need, man. They're cheap, man. They were. They were. I don't know about now. Very, very nice. 74 GT. Ooh, with throttle bodies. Or. It's nice. Very, very, very cool. Love the color. Nice wheels. Yeah, man. Definitely, definitely a cool section here for the Celicas. Another right hand drive. Uh, what are these? The all track, right? mint condition yeah that's definitely something that japanese classic car show brings out a lot of cars that you normally wouldn't see these cars you know just hibernate they don't come out at all and uh that definitely you know this is the reason why we we come out to this one because um a lot of different cars now i must admit i wasn't a big fan of the location just because it's like a major it's like a big parking lot to me um i really like the old school um location in long beach but you know the, the 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 plus about it is that it brings out a lot of different cars and uh obviously uh, more room more cars can can join and the quality of the cars here at jccs will be superb so oh i don't even know where to go okay so we got the off-road over there we got a little bit of luxury and new cars here i think it looks wild way eh? Little hatch, it's dope. This is dope. The ching over that? Yeah. I wanted to keep going that line though, but. Corolla. Yeah, Corolla. Yeah, Armando being nice and taking pictures of a uh, of the cars for me. <laughs> I expect pretty poor pictures, not gonna lie, because that's just Armando. Very, very cool. Beautiful interior. Oh, it's a Corolla. This is one of my favorite for sure. Alrighty, so now that we're in this line, we're gonna do the Hachirokus. You guys know how much I love this one. It's by far my favorite uh, Corollas generation. Individual throttle bodies on this black top. Beautiful. Oh, those are, yeah, those are, yeah. So, like, no. beautiful, beautiful. Techno toy tuning company came out. Uh, yeah, hold that up easy. No problem. Oh my gosh, uh, beautiful. I didn't even realize lines. it stuff. It looks super yeah, small. It's I didn't tiny. Realize, like how tiny it was. Yeah, that's it's all. tiny. And they like, I've, I've played with them and stuff, but I, yeah, it looks so small in there. Excuse me. It works good. Too. This is absolutely uh, yeah. gorgeous. I had like a back. So I have that one. Oh my god, dude. I'm in love with this car. I'm in love with this car. The wheel and tire setup, everything about it. Love those wheels. Obviously, a little bit of magic to the lug nuts. 
give it a nice different look. Oh, you're, you're down, you're based down here, right? Yeah. Hey, wait, take a, take a picture of this in your baby. It's beautiful. Yeah. It's usually 30. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> this is beautiful. Wow. Talk about fit, man. This is beautiful. Very nice. So like I say, yeah, this is definitely the, the generation that I love the most in the hatches. Beautiful car, man. Thanks, brother. Thank you. Wow. It's gorgeous. I would love to have one of these, man. It's a Chingon. Yeah. Has a different front end. The 11 front end. And this is uh, the pop-up. Yeah. Yeah. Still works. For now. It's amazing. <laughs> Let's cross our fingers. Right on, man. Something different. Gerard, like Corolla. Likewise, man. Super cool. And I don't really see that many wagons, but this one is pretty sick. Nice ball entire setup. Very nice. Very, very cool wagon. Nice to see this generation Corolla get some love, you know, because um, they're a little bit, you know, newer. And now, granted, I, I was complaining that I don't believe that, you know, anything above 90, 90 should be in the classic car show. So yes, I was complaining. I, I, I am going to stay true to my statement. I don't think anything above um, 99 should be here. Uh, but no, I don't think, I don't think anything under, uh, above 90 should be here. Uh, but whatever, that's just my personal opinion. It's a beautiful cars though. A lot of beautiful, beautiful cars everywhere you see, man. This is absolutely mint, museum quality type of thing. That interior. That interior is mint. Very cool to see one of these survive over the years. A Camry. I'm not sure what year it is. Very cool. I think I've seen wagons like these. I don't think I've seen this specific wagon, but this is cool. Look at that steering wheel. <laughs> wow very cool cool bucket looks like the guy's skinny because i would not be able to fit in one of those it's a four-wheel drive wagon on top of that that's freaking dope wow love the third window i love the little fucking wheel yeah the steering wheel is cool little wheels everything um now i'm making my way to the mr2 section couple mr2s very nice cars um and this one looks very aggressive so yeah i think this video is gonna be all over the place just because uh i'm sure they had like a a way of kind of sorting all the cars out but um everywhere you see is just beautiful beautifulness wow this is very cool beautiful car man thank you wow it's boosted it's beautiful that is crazy. I mean, the quality of cars. Big body sedan. Where that can see? Yeah. What is it? I don't know. What does it say on the side? Royal Saloon Brown. Oh, a saloon? I think it's called Saloon Way. Wow. Uh, pretty much like a Cressida, right? You know? So. But, uh, but uh, I guess another type of. This is super rad, though. It's really big, huh? Yeah. But it looks comfy. Like, that's uh -huh. what you want. It's like a big body, comfortable car. I like it. A crown. Another crown, but newer way. Very, very nice. This is super rad. That's cool. I mean, everywhere you see right now, it's like, like all these cars that you normally would never see because they don't come out. Wow. I like this a lot. Very, very nice. Obviously, it's going to be a two-part, maybe three-part video series just because it's going to be a lot of uh, walking around and just looking at all these different cars. Um, if I don't get your car, don't take it personal. I just didn't get to you. Especially you Honda heads because, I, you know, I... <laughs> Maybe by the time I get to the Honda section, which is somewhere over there, um, we're gonna run out of batteries just because there's just so many cars to look at. And these GoPro batteries, honestly, are not the best. 
So, and plus the fact that I've seen all those Hondas over and over again, um, you know, we already seen them. We know how they look like. So we'll check out some other section over here. Then we're gonna go now to the 520, 6, 620, 521 area with the little trucks. So right at so making our way to little troquitas here oh right off the bat i see a little itb setup picking off the little engine bay here very very nice Ooh, beautiful absolutely beautiful wow this is gorgeous now we've seen this truck at a uh, earlier jccs like maybe two years ago um I think they had the, the hood closed and everything, so I didn't get to actually see the whole entire entire car, but you know, still maintaining one piece and still looking very nice. Very, very nice. Love the color. Really, really like the color on that truck. Hmm, a little bit of an upgrade on the wheels. What? I don't know what, what tire size those are. They're a little bit big though. Very nice. Love the orange on this one with an SR. SR and A. Beautiful. This one's really stock and I absolutely love it. I mean, to maintain a truck like this so clean and stock, I, it must be very difficult, you know? Um, I, I mean, at least for me, because I would want to lower it and modify it and say, oh, I'm just going to lower and keep it on OEM wheels. And then before you know it, you're, you're putting a white body on it, you know? Wow, very, very nice. Very nice trucks. Now I'm like, I'm going through the center because it's just easier that way. Look at these wheels right here. They just pop. So yeah, I have to admit it, I wasn't planning on showing up, but uh, homie Rob from Canada, he left a comment, like he always does, but he left a comment. He's like, hey, you need to go to the JCCA show. I need a video of it. Um, get some inspiration, I guess. And uh, I was like, you know what? I'll do it. I ended up um, I ended up rescheduling. It kind of worked out because uh, last Saturday, I ended up driving to San Diego. It's about an hour and a half for me. Uh, I rescheduled on that guy because he was supposed to uh, meet up with me today. Um, honestly, I wasn't, I wasn't even paying attention when JCCS was happening. So that's why I didn't really... Um, I, I didn't plan around it, you know, which is one of those things where like, oh, okay, if, if it's within my area, I'll go. And if it's not, it's not. This is very nice. And so anyways, um, I, I'll be honest with you, Rob. Uh, I know you're watching. Um, I, I figure, you know, if you're if you've been so committed to uh, to tune in and, and be so supportive all these years now going on, a, you know, third year, the least I can do for you is do this. And I think part of it is um, understanding that. You guys don't have these type of shows in some parts of the world, you know? And we just take it for granted. Beautiful truck, man. Beautiful, beautiful truck. And so I was like, you know what? Let me go and, and show some love and, and check out JCCS. Um, I think most of didn't want to show up because of uh, the location. But now that I'm here, I, I completely forgot about the fact that we're in a parking lot based on all these cars. It's just, it's just so rad. It's just so rad you don't see them. I don't know what this is, a Datsun 1000. Um, so you just don't see none of these cars. This is really beautiful. Very nice. And so that's the reason. So anybody watching this video, thank, thank Rob from Canada. That's the only reason I'm here. Because he wanted a video. <laughs> but uh, wow, look at this white body on this car. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to try to slow down in some of the cars that really, really grab my attention. Because it's just so many, right? Oh, bumperless. Nice. Uh, there's just so many cars, you know, that you can't, you can't, you will not be able to get all the details. Uh, and even if I try to get the details, my GoPro doesn't do justice. <laughs> it's just so freaking beautiful everywhere. I like it. Thanks. Can't go too fast though. You're going to get a speeding ticket. <laughs> That's cool, a little. This is beautiful. A bluebird. I thought it was a skyline for a little bit, but it's not. It's a bluebird. What the difference is, I have no idea, but I'm sure there's some big difference. Love to see like little pamphlets and things of that nature that tells you that the owner is really, really, really involved and dedicated to the chassis. And that, that, that's what's cool about it, you know? 
beautiful. I was about to call it a 510, but it's not a 510. Wow. It's mint condition, man. Oof. It's beautiful. How are you doing your pictures with? 